Le Chatelier's principle states that a system in equilibrium, when introduced to a change, will shift in equilibrium to minimize that change. The way that I think about Le Chatelier's principle is it's basically the universe telling us to stop messing with its chemical reactions. Anything that you do will be resisted by the system. The easiest way to understand Le Chatelier's principle is by reference to an example. So let's look at a model system. We've got a reaction in which A and B, both gases, react in equilibrium to form the product AB, which is also a gas. Let's see what happens when we mix it up and change some of the reaction conditions of this equilibrium system. Let's see what happens when we change a few of the component conditions of the system. First, let's change the concentration. Say that we add a whole bunch of the reactants, A and B. By Le Chatelier's principle, the system will want to shift in equilibrium to minimize that change. In this case, to minimize the concentration of reactants A and B. The best way to do that is to shift the equilibrium to the right-hand side towards the products. This will decrease the concentration of A and B and increase the concentration of A, B. Now let's think about a change in pressure. We know that one mole of gas at the same temperature will always occupy the same volume. So if we increase the pressure by Le Chatelier's principle, this equilibrium will want to shift to decrease the pressure again. The best way to do that is to shift to the side with the fewest moles of gas. As the reactants have two moles of gas and the products have only one, again the equilibrium will shift to the right to decrease the pressure of the system. Finally, let's see what happens when we change the temperature of the system. In this case, the reaction is endothermic because the reactants absorb energy to turn into the products. We can tell this by the heat of reaction, which is 37 kilojoules per mole. If we increase the temperature by Le Chatelier's principle, the system will want to decrease the temperature. The best way to do that is to move to the right because the reactants will absorb energy and decrease the pressure in order to become products. The opposite will be true in exothermic reactions. Thank you everybody for listening and stay tuned for a whole bunch more chemistry videos. Thank you.